pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it. What's up, Earthlings? Today I want to highlight a video by Sly Sparkane exposing the dishonesty of Bev's so-called test he presented on Brandon's a while back. What's interesting about this is that when Brandon asked Bev a very pertinent question about a specific part of the test, he answered in a way which revealed the true dishonest nature of that test. Bev later went on to perform this quote-unquote test, but only for a few of his loyal followers in his Discord server. It wasn't live streamed on YouTube or recorded, there's no data, there's no measurements, there's absolutely no documentation that exists of this test except for a few pictures of him handling the tubes from the water level. So here it is, enjoy. And once again, thanks for watching. The link to Sly Sparkane's original video will be in the description. I do have a question for you while we're waiting for Clary. Cool. So between each of the 100 meter. All right, now this is the question from Brandon and pay specific attention to how Bev actually answers this question. Uh, sections. Ooh. You're gonna auto level, and that'll show that there's a horizontal between each post. So the 100 meters well, is there, a horizontal, there wouldn't, horizontal, right? There would never need to be a, a the water level, right? The water level is is what we've got to do an extra test. All you would have is a staff like that, and that would be here at these posts, there, there and there, and you would just take a reading. Well, one of them would become the back of the foresight, and the other one would become the backside. And then as you moved to the next spot, um, these would have to be on like a pin or something locked in, you know. Just to clarify what he's talking about, about using that staff is absolutely useless. It's great for doing a two peg test, but using that staff is basically he's going to be checking the, the, the differentiating heights of the, uh, of whatever surface that he's on has nothing to do with the water level. It will not be the same checking against a water level. That's just uh, the absurdity is just sorry. To the next spot, um, these would have to be on like a pin or something locked in, you know, so that this doesn't move as as you move this one. This one doesn't move, and that one. So you, all you're doing is you're moving a measurement. The, the water level is just one step above because what we found is that a lot of people don't, I mean, even surveyors, you, you ask surveyors um, what would be more accurate, the water level or the, uh, the, the auto level. They'll tell you they haven't got a clue. They don't know. Oh. There's something, there's something a bit weird going on. But I mean, this is just logical, practical uh, sense. It just makes sense. And how long could you go and do that for? And you know, to establish a horizontal. Well, I'd say you could do it indefinitely. But other people like to see, as you'll find out later on, they like to sort of add in calculations of reality. Yeah, indefinitely in 100 meter pieces. Sure. Did that explain it? Sorry, I may have rambled a bit then. No, no, no. You did explain it. My only question would be, let's say each of those posts that you have on there, the three uh, posts with the water level going up to the top are A, B, and C from left to right. What's yep. to say that A and B and B and C, um, that there's not an angle between those two? What I mean is, right. how do you know A and C are also on a horizontal? We know A and B would, and B and C would, but how do we know A to C is a, one long horizontal? B and C, like that, right? Yeah, Well, yeah. all you do is, you blank that off. And C, like that, right? Yeah, Well, yeah. all you do is, you blank that off. And you make 
A to C, you're, that would be a horizontal, right? The water level allows you to do that. You, you just don't, I mean, like, in a water level, it... it All right, y'all caught that part, right? You take out the middle one, and then now you have the new line between A and C. Ignoring A to B and B to C like Brandon asked. Let me do that one more time. Because I want to make sure that, that part's clear, because that is actually him showing that he's being dishonest about this test. Three... Uh posts with the water level going up to the top are A, B, and C from left to right. What's yeah. to say that A and B and B and C, um, that there's not an angle between those two? What I mean is, right. how do you know A and C are also on a horizontal? We know A and B would and B and C would, but how do we know A to C is a, one long horizontal? like that right yeah well yeah. all you do is you blank that off and you make a <laughs> to see your that would be a horizontal right the water level allows you to do that you, you just don't i mean like in a water level it, it's sort of the same as saying when you have this as your tool your auto level like you're establishing this here as a horizontal point and this here is a horizontal point but you don't really need to establish that this is a horizontal point in the middle whereas the water level acts differently the water level doesn't really care what happens in the middle it just transfers the level from one end to the other now if you blank that off then this becomes the the total distance doesn't it Okay, I think I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you will, it will become a bit more clear tonight because the, this is a like a showcase of the Kozlowski curvature conundrum. So that's what we got. We have a useless test of 100 meters no matter how many times you do it. That's why he said you can do it indefinitely. A useless test of 100 meters where you're measuring only 50 meters of each side of it from the tangential point if on a sphere and not once did he say they would measure it from the side because of the fact that he would actually have to look down now unfortunately given the short distance the amount that he would have to look down is incredibly small so this is the, it, and y'all caught that right he, he he just said oh we'll just get rid of the middle and now 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 this is the line there was no comparison made between a and b and b and c versus a to c like brian uh brandon had asked he actually did not answer the question he 100 percent avoided it by removing b so Anyway, I don't want to make this too much more long because it's pretty much, uh, uh, I, I made all the points that I wanted to make. The distance is too short for, uh, for him to be able to determine if there's any drop. Um, his method of doing level in the middle is actually dishonest to exactly what it is that's attempting to be measured here. Uh, and the distances, like I said, are too short for the drop to even be noticeable because they would only be about the same thickness as the crosshair that's in his auto level. And if anybody has been following this at all, you've seen how he treats his auto level. So I, I, I wouldn't even care about that. I, I wouldn't even trust it anyway. So that's all I got, ladies and gents. I really appreciate. Oh, wait, no, let me drop this down here. Oh, yeah. These were the. Uh, these were the amounts of drop per uh, 100 meters. <laughs> that was fun doing that. But uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Make sure you all give Bev a nice big fat you're a liar. Um, or at least just a dishonest flat earther. Um, 
and yeah, just make sure that uh, everybody's fully aware of that. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit, then hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it.